Hey guys, a natural cause here. Today I'm going to go ahead and walk you through setting up your interactive Minecraft through Beam.pro, where your viewers can interact with you while you're playing and blow you up if they want. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Beam.pro, sign in, go ahead and click on your stream, and click the button down below that says Go Interactive. What that will do is bring up this screen here choose Minecraft play game and when we're done you'll see your interactive buttons will appear right in this area next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and head over to getblitbot.com and click on the interactive editor once you click on the interactive editor you're gonna choose either mod 1710 or 1.8.9 in this I'm going to choose 1.8.9 I'm going to go ahead and keep the jar file and then I'm going to go ahead and drag that out to my desktop click hold drag drop it on my desktop we'll set it right here for right now now what you want to do is go ahead and launch your minecraft and make sure that you have 1.8.9 already loaded then we're going to go ahead and head over to forge and we're going to download the 1.8.9 installer. Make sure that you go ahead and click on the skip button here and nothing else in the middle. Wait for that skip button to come up. Next we'll run this forge. Let's go ahead and click OK and click next and continue. It'll install forge to your system. I already have it installed. Next in Minecraft you'll see on the drop down you'll see forge. Just go ahead and click play. That will go ahead and initially install Forge to your system. And as you can see here, we have three mods loaded. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now go ahead and click on Options, Resource Packs, and Open Resource Pack Folder. This is the quickest way to get here. All right, from here, click on the .minecraft folder, and then we're going to go ahead and go into the Mods folder. Now go ahead and drag the blip bot points into the Mods folder. We'll go ahead and minimize this and we'll go ahead and launch Minecraft and you'll see that the mod has been loaded which is exactly what we need. I'm going to close out of here. Now go back into that um, folder that we had open earlier and then go into the config file and you'll see the blipbotpoints.cfg. Right click and choose open with and we're going to go ahead and choose notepad. Now here's where we're going to go ahead and get the API key. Now we get the API key from over at the BlipBot site. So head back over there and right here in step number two where it says click to review token. Go ahead and click there. It'll reveal your token, copy it, and then go ahead and paste it in this spot right here. Once you've done that, simply go ahead and click file and save. And then go ahead and close this window and then we're going to go ahead and launch Minecraft again. As soon as this loads up here, yep, no errors, which is good. That's perfect. The mod's been loaded. We're going to click on single player. We'll create a new world. We'll call this world interactive world. We'll stand survival. Why not? Because it's more fun. We don't need any other options. Let's go ahead and click on create new world. We'll let that world create here for a moment. Once the world is created, it's really simple. Your buttons should then pop up in the background. Wait, they spawned me underwater? What's going on here? They did. I got spawned underwater. Oh well. Let's head over here real quick. And I'll show you how to add, add some stuff here. Alright, go ahead and head back over to BlipBot Points. Click on where it says create new reward. And if you click on the drop down arrow, you'll see all the different actions that can be taken in the game. We're going to go ahead and spawn an entity and we'll call it cow. We'll give it a cost of 100 and we'll give it a name of cow as well. And then on the left here, you'll see cow now costs 100. 
Now if we go ahead and click on run a command, we're going to do something a little fun here. So we're going to go ahead and choose uh, TP, where you can TP me as the victim. Um, let's say 750, let's see, 750, 75, 750. And actually, you can, instead of that, you can do a random 750, negative 750. And uh, it'll randomly choose a number between those two to spawn me at. Alright, so we'll go ahead and give this a name instead of a uh, random item. We'll choose TP to nowhere. And then give it a cost. Try not to choose zero. Zero just messes things up. So we'll give it a, we'll just say 25 for right now. And as you can see, it's down here. All right, now back in your interactive, you'll see that TP to nowhere is now listed here. And after I clicked on it, you can see that it has TP'd into the middle of nowhere. So now the interactive buttons work and everything is golden. Good job. All right, now the last thing is the point system. So if you click on points, this is where it'll allow you to add the points for every minute or however you choose. Make sure you set these as well. Save your settings. This is how the, your viewers get points. Once you're done streaming, make sure that you go ahead and choose exit interactive mode. Log off and you're done. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions or concerns, leave them in the comments. Take care.